Nunomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonamiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looked great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. <sighs> um... We don't... know you? No, you don't. I'm Saeko. All right, so is Saeko your nickname or something? <laughs> I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does i'm not for sale if that's what you're asking i'm a bartender at a cabaret club that nonomiya owned actually jeez he owned a cabaret club and a soap land yeah he may not have looked it but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district now that he's gone i guess both my club and Orohime land are probably going to shut down was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. 
But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh. Yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait, what exactly did he say to you? What? You have your employees doing that? Basically. The home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And what? did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho, I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum, an ex <laughs> and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, ho hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Uh, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to you! Loma! Oh, yeah, that's definitely a suicide. He was killed. That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why'd they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. 
The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. They might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Lao Ma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Uh, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. <laughs> He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep, and milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the great wall and they know it too don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where mabuchi is involved hey we're forgetting an important question why would mabuchi kill nonomiya yeah doesn't seem like it was robbery look at these it was rare that nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses but he got them for us he trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. But after she died, I just wanted out. <sighs> Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? <sighs> all my life, I felt pretty alone, but I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. Because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating. Oh, god damn it. Ah, I'm sorry about that. Just was getting good. They moved the joystick more. I know. Hating me. Even Nonomiya. Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but if you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's over. 
frustrating because it's like Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, crass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that that nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. <laughs> do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. Okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? Yep. You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Oh, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so. That settles it. <laughs> Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> ah, that's touching. Great thing about Yakuza games, it can make alert dirtbag just look like a great person in the end. Psycho, Kodo, join the party. Oh no, I gotta do a female voice, don't I? Sup? Adachi-san, do you know where Mab Mabuchi's hideout is? Oop, the Liamung are still Mafia, so like the Yakuza, they're not gonna just plaster the name on an office. On top of that, Mabuchi's ca a cautious bastard. Or it is, he doesn't even take meetings. Hmm. So, we don't have any leads. <sighs> no. I wouldn't say that. You know, Restaurant Row, just north of here. That's where the Lu Leomong are known to hang out. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, a little Chinatown. It's more like, it's more Chinatown than Chinatown, really. But Fuji's gotta be hiding somewhere along Restaurant Row. Then let's head over there and ask around. Yeah. I was starting to get hungry anyway. Hey. Don't tell me. <clears throat> Don't tell me we're going down there to grab food. Why not? Adachi son said this is a, the real Chinatown, so it's gotta be good. <sighs> we'll see you when you get there. All right, we officially have couldn't. Oh wait, what's this? Uh, Psycho inherit inherent boldness makes her much more resistant to farm fear. Farm fear, charm, and silence. The most she's practically good holding her liquor, therefore less likely to get drunk. Oh hey, we officially have a full party. Awesome. Oh yeah, the game's getting good now. All right. Get to sip my coffee. Try to get myself a little energy. Alright, so she uses a handbag. I'm gonna pop a half helmet on you, a suit you work clothes, and I'm gonna give you the hard leather boots with no. Oh wait. When pound mates does not work. If Kasuga is in an area where her smartphone does not receive signal, he cannot use pound mates to call for help. Keep that in mind when enemies emit signal blocking waves that render smartphones useless. Ah, we will come across that. Okay. So I could go here. 
But I am a little tired today because I just got out of work. I don't think I'm going to do a long one. So I'm going to do side quests because there's so many around. So let's do it. Also, Psycho's job is bartender, by the way. Clobbering and boxer exercise. Oh, she's a. Uh... No, Mega Swing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, Yam Namba. There we go. Yam Namba. There we go. Left one Yakuza. Damn it. Taste handbag. Yeah, I'll show you your class now. Also, I, 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 I'm going to apologize for my pronunciation, reading, and all that. Like I always say, I read way better in my head, but my mouth refuses to work with me. But yeah, now let me show you her class. She is, at the moment, a barmaid. It's uh, basically smacks enemy around with a handbag, but is capable of learning powerful martial arts. Martial arts performed by in tandem with a wide array of cosmetic tools. The job's pretty alright. But we have yet to get to my favorite hmm? uh, party member. That one's later. Oh. Strip club? That's an old timey building. Hey, check it out, Ichiban. They're looking for part timers. Nine hundred yen an hour, huh? Think about it. Make a little money, two birds, one stone, huh? Two birds, one stone? Getting paid's one bird, so what's the other? Huh? Oh, well, uh, 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 the feeling of contributing to the betterment of society? Pull that out of your ass, didn't you? I'm kidding. But I should tell you, it's not like you'd be able to watch the show. What? I know the guy who runs the place, and they're looking for someone to help with ticketing and equipment. Oh, I see. They can also pick up on whether or not someone's got an ulterior motive almost instantly. Ulterior motive? <laughs> Nonsense. I'm just looking for good, honest work. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say. Guess a job's a job, no matter where you're at. Nice. I'm ready to increase my bond with Namba. And Psycho has uh, some of that. Now uh, let's do this. I should aim for one farther in the back, but like I said, I'm a little tired. Beautiful. Alright, give us a go. There we go. Oh yeah, I guess it's a magic class because the magic got increased. Give me ooh, okay. Tonner plus. Hi ma'am, bye ma'am. Man, a lot of enemies out tonight. I'm just gonna take it slow, and I'm gonna run to love magic. No, run, 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 run! Aww. Um. Right. You do not see that. Try this on his side. Oh, yeah. this one. Forgot how You're fast that world. is. All right, I killed the pimpster. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're a bit out level here at least. The city is technically divided in levels. All right, let me see. I want that for her. Okay, adults ruler. Oh yeah, the massage machine. Which yeah. Right, I'm, st I'm still a broke. 
broke, broke man. I need more Sujikon. Check this out. Alright, there we go. That's how you do it! Alright, am I near the side quest? Oh, this way. We're gonna do some side quests, like I said, because I wanna do main stuff tonight. Bit tired. Huh? What's with him? Oh, it's this one! Crap. He saw me looking. I feel like I'm getting called over. <laughs> you know, let's check uh, it out. Help you with what? Uh, to tell you the truth, I need to hop a train to Tokyo as soon as possible. But I don't have any clothes. You don't have any clothes? Uh, yeah. All I've got are these bubbles. Bubbles? What are you talking about? Here, see for yourself. Those magically conveniently placed bubbles that are not going away. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll catch a cold. See ya. Wait, <laughs> please! Don't you see? I can't get on a train like this! Yo, back off! You're getting bubbles everywhere! How did you even end up like that in the first place? The hell are your clothes? Well, earlier today, I was enjoying my time at a soapland, getting nice and sudsy. This new girl, Mika-chan, is just so cute. Uh-huh. Suddenly, while I'm doing the old slip and slide, I get a phone call from my grandfather. He's not really the type to call, so I got curious and answered. You answered, and... Your grandma's passed out, he tells me. Of course, I'm a major grandma's boy, so I immediately start panicking. All I can think about is getting to the hospital, so I shake off Mika-chan and the bouncers and slip through the door, bubbles popping the whole way. But with the way I am now, I'll get caught before I even make it to the station. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm begging you. Can I borrow your clothes? Huh? No way. Uh, figures. I wouldn't want to lend my clothes to a bubble man either. Yep. So, can't you just go back to the soap land and get your clothes? Yeah, about that. Apparently, running out the front door naked is pretty frowned upon at such an establishment, so I'm now banned from entering. I tried to go back in and get dressed, but the bouncers tossed me out, so here I am, stuck between a very slippery rock and a hard place. If you won't let me borrow your clothes, can you at least take me to a clothing store? A clothing store? That's right. There's no telling how much longer these bubbles will last. I have to get clothes and hurry to the hospital before I'm hanging out for all the world to see. In that case, why don't I just buy you some? There's no time for that. What if something happens to my grandma while you're out shopping? And if you don't pick out something in my size or my style for that matter, we'll just be wasting even more time. You're seriously thinking about style right now? Look, if you're that worried about it, just go to the store yourself. Believe me, I would, but it's too risky trying to get there without the bubbles falling off. And to top it off, what about all the wet pockets around here? There's a good chance the bubbles will get washed away. Wet pockets? Okay. Oh, the streets magically One came pocket, very wet. A little splish of water, these bubbles get washed away and I'm arrested on the spot. And then I can kiss both my grandma and my freedom goodbye. Well, it's not like you couldn't get arrested right now. Think you can get me over to a clothing store while avoiding any and all water? I'm begging you. Please. Please. Do you even have your wallet on you? There's a clothing store in the shopping district. Do I help the guy out? Yeah. All right, I'll take you. <gasps> really? You're a lifesaver. I just have to get to the store without getting you wet, right? Yes. Please! Oh, uh, my name's Awano, by the way. I'm Kasuga. Well, I'm let's get you I'm dressed I'm before you get arrested. Okay, gotta move carefully and avoid water at all costs. Alright, this one's gonna be fun. Alright, follow me. Alright, the goal is to get here.
Come, Bubble Man. Run with me. Be free. Yep, and uh, magically, people are out with wet stuff. Right, let's go this way. Oh. Follow me, Bubble Man. If I correctly, it gets slightly harder, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> Random fireman just trying out a hose. Yeah, let's uh, be careful. Okay, it's... Come here. Come here. We're gonna wait. Because I don't know what happens when you get hit by a car. Oh, God. That girl's going for it. Thank you. Stop <laughs> traffic for me. Alright, we're here. But does he even have his wallet? Can he even pay for this? Phew. Glad we got you here without you, uh, hanging out. Thanks a million, Kazuka-san. Be right back. Okay. Sure, go ahead. I'm coming, Grandma! Hmm? Wait, are they really going to shop like that? Huh? <laughs> Ew, you pervert! Get out of here! Okay. Wait! Please! I just need to buy some clothes! Here we go. Come on. Tell her it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> They're gonna lock up- lock me up at this rate. We're gonna have, And we just got the store. This shit doesn't end, does it? Hey. Look, I've got my friend here. It's a lot. There's a reason behind. Why is this, there's a reason this dude's naked? Is there? Uh -huh. Yeah, his grandmother just passed out. He was in the bath when he got the message. Couldn't ignore it, so he ran out without thinking. His grandma passed out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have, do him a favor and sell him some clothes, please? He's already made enough of a scene. I'm just trying to help out, help this fool get to the hospital and see his grandma. Okay, I understand. In that case, right this way. Man, say something ridiculous with a serious face, and people will just buy just about anything. Hey, you look normal. I was like a son. I was able to get some clothes. Oh, uh, that's good. Hmm? But now that I think about it, how did you pay for them? Weren't you naked? <laughs> the clerk saw me crying while I picked it was while I was picking out my clothes and let me put on a tab. A tab? At a clothing store. <laughs> I'm forever in your debt. And with that, I'm off to see my grandma. Okay. Yeah. Get going. <laughs> Hope his grandma's okay. And it's not over, because we have to re-meet him down there. Any taxis? I could just take my phone. Never mind. Alright, we'll just go down and finish the quest, why not? If I find taxi on the way, I'll take it. You, you want to do this? You want to do this? Okay. You're gonna be in a world of Watch this! Beautiful, I was hoping to do that. Case cone. Here we go. I'm up. Oh, nice. Damn it. You're gonna be a There you go. Cool. Don't get caught. Oh man, another rank up. Nice. Alright. I'm curious.
curious. What's in here? Ah, casino. Come in. Eh, let's eat. Why not? Alright, let's see. I want to do some orange highball with something edible. Let's do you. Who's hungry? Me. Me. Mm. Mm. Tasty. Arigatou gozaimashita. All right. I'm pretty sure there's a taxi nearby here. But then again, I am almost there. Much as I love combat encounters, that one's not worth my time. Yo, if it isn't Awano. Oh, Kasuga-san, nice to see you again. So this is the Kasuga-san that helped you. That's right, the very same. I wanted to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well and out of the hospital. Hey, good to hear. I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Sorry for all the trouble. No, don't worry about it. I'm just glad he was able to see you. <laughs> my, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. Here's my thanks for taking care of my grandson. A mysterious blush. Ooh, I might be able to get it to her. Thank you very much. So where are you off to now? Huh? Oh, well... I'm gonna take my grandma somewhere special to celebrate her recovery. Where would you like to go, Grandma? Let's see. A hot spring would be lovely. A hot spring? Yeah, I could go for a bath. Well, we should get going. Take care, Kasuga-san. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Don't take lose. Take care of your grandma. Yeah, don't lose your clothes again. Sheesh. Didn't know bathing could run in the family. <laughs> bubba bubba toil and trouble. Alright, give me a second. Is that something I can equip for Psycho? No. Gear? Oh, yes. Uh, boost the amount of job XP. Oh, only she can equip it, but it's actually really good. Yes. And for her class, even better. Oh, okay, so I should explain that. Uh, there are certain items in the game that will give you extra XP for certain classes. In this one, the job has the Margarita. That is the bartender class she is right now. So this class at the moment is going to get more XP. So she will level up like, not crazy, but uh, a little bit faster. And it's quite nice. I usually use those when I get them for certain. I Nope, not talking to you. Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't think he does anything anyways. Alright, I'm gonna just run around. There's probably a silver chest somewhere. No, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, um... I'm gonna do probably one or two of these, and then I'll call it, maybe? Some of these side quests are really good. Some of them are, eh, they're okay. Like, that one is, eh, it's okay. It's a little humorous, but that's it. Oh, battle bumps. Which, not every quest has to be, you know, the best bloody thing ever made. But, some of them are really good. Nice. How's my voice compared to the game? Actually, I am peaking at times, and I'm sorry. But I don't know why, so I'm gonna stay the way I am at the moment. Uh, I got a new mic coming. Not because I'm like, oh man, if I get a new mic, oh, I'll do so much better at YouTube. New mic for, you know, my friends and all that, mostly. Between thrill and passion. 
Now, what's that one for? Uh, ah, reading this improves your passion. Oh, yeah. I have to, uh, yeah. So, a good way to increase is stats, like those stats. You get a bunch of money, and then you do all the tests hmm? at the school. Problem is, you need money for that. What? Wait. Uh, uh, no. You. It's pseudo trash. Oh, he's very resistant. Oh, wait, how many pseudo trashes are there? Cool. Come on now. Want to fight? Alright, that's one seal trash. Let's go. No. Yeah. Let's go. You're Are these the ones that run? No, they rummage in the trash and throw something random at you. Oh. Here we go. You wanna fight? Go, go, go. Oh yeah, she gets 1.5% more. Nice. Oh. I hate when the garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. Well, what can I say? We're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flock. That is true. Crows are very smart. I know, the town I live in is famous for crows. What are you famous for? Ah, oh, crows. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <sighs> nice. Ah, well. Could be worse. Hi guys, hi guys. I'm gonna see if I can trigger this. Ah, oh, you got me. Okay. You got him, Namba. So close. Alright, let's Alright, now let's trigger this quest. That looks so nasty. Oh, <gasps> what's that thing? Oh, yes. oh, it's a crawfish. What's it doing out here? You crawl up out of the river? Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. Bon voyage, little buddy. Oh, my sweet Nancy. Huh? Oh, my poor girl. I don't see her anywhere at all. Crap, don't tell me. That crawfish just now was yours? Yep. Raised her with my own two hands, I did. Her name's Nancy. Normally, we stroll around the neighborhood together and get us some exercise. That sweet little gal was my only beacon of hope in this dark, cruel world. I, oh, we all love Nancy. I'll <laughs> save her. Dude, I'm so sorry. If I knew she was important to you, I never would have done that. I understand. You did it with good intentions. Besides, it's my fault for taking my eyes off her. Well, I don't see her anywhere. Unfortunate as it is, she's probably gone for good. But don't dwell too much on it. I'm just another nobody. That crawfish must have meant the world to him. He even gave Hold the name. There, old -timer. Oh. I'll go find Nancy and bring her back. They'll eat me up inside if I don't. Huh? 
Why, that's certainly generous of you. Um, but can you really find her? Well, I can give it a shot. Gee, thanks. I'll leave you to it then. Oh, and I'm Ebihara. I call these streets my home. If you do get hold of Nancy, uh, could you come find me along Sakura River Street? That's my usual spot. Of course. And I'm Kasuga. I'll be back with Nancy in no time. One thing I should tell you is Nancy has an X-shaped scar on her back. Uh, that help? An X shape on her back. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully she hasn't gone far. If I'm lucky, I'll find her downstream. The crawfish caper. Nancy, come back to me. Oh, you homeless people. Do you really want me to beat you up? Listen, don't interrupt me when I'm looking for Nancy. Save Nancy. Hmm? Oh, there's crawfish all over the place. Maybe Ebahara's pet Nancy is one of them. Let's take a look. Active search mode will place you in first person view where you'll be able to move using the L stick. And look when using the R stick. Put on those detective specs and find Nancy Chan. Hmm. Last I checked, this wasn't judgment. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. This be Nancy? Nah. No. No, it tells me. Nope. Not Nancy. Not Nancy. Not Nancy. What is this? See. What's this? Hmm? No. Hmm? Hmm? No. What's this? Hmm? No. No. I already looked at you, didn't I? What's this? Hmm? No. No, no, no. Where, though? I feel I'm blind. Yeah, no, not that one. Hmm. Where, though? I'm either extremely blind or oh wait. What's this? Nancy. Hmm? Yeah. Ebahara said he'd be at South Sakura River Street. I'll meet him there. You hide Nami Nancy.
Oh, looks like gonna have to fight you guys. Yeah, this one's a quick side quest. I can do the other one. And then I can show you something. Uh, uh. Let's turn Nancy over. Hey man, I'm sorry about it. Here she is. Hey there, kasuga -san. Uh, Did you find Nancy yet? Yeah, this is Nancy, right? Oh, Nancy! Oh, thank goodness you're safe and sound! I'm amazed you actually found her! Oh, I'm sure it was no easy task. Yeah, wasn't a big deal. Besides, I started this mess. Thanks for being cool. Anyway, I gotta bounce. You and Nancy, take care. Oh, can't you stay a while? I was just about to start cooking. I'd be more than happy to treat you, as thanks for finding my girl. Well, I don't know. Oh, don't be modest. I've been planning a feast for some time now, so I say the more the merrier. I guess I could stay and have a bite then. Before we get to the main course, why don't you try this little appetizer I whipped up? Huh? What is this? Looks kind of like boiled spinach. Mmm, kind of rubbery, but not bad, old timer. Glad to hear it. And you swallowed it just fine? Yeah. Why wouldn't I have? Uh, the thing is, uh, those are weeds I found in a hole in the road. <laughs> Couldn't tell you what they are, though. <laughs> but seeing as you're still kicking, I'd say they're just fine. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Next time, test your road weeds on someone else. What? You're stealing one piece, aren't you? And besides, you're getting a free meal, so how about seconds? Yeah, I'll pass. You're a real piece of work, you old coot. At any rate, we're just getting warmed up. Our main course today is what I call the Ebihara Smash. Nancy! No! What's that got to do with Nancy? <laughs> what else? I told you we were feasting, didn't I? Nancy here is the main course! What the hell? Have you lost it? I thought you cared about Nancy. Oh, yes, I, I care about her deeply. This little sea bug's a cut above the rest. Uh, oh, she's the tastiest one I ever did see. So she's just a meal to you? Hey, to us homeless folk, crawfish are a godsend. And to get her plump and fit, I took her out daily to toughen up her limbs. I worked so hard to sculpt her into a meal, I nearly had a heart attack when you chucked her in the river. You should have said that before. I thought she was your pet, man! Why else would I bust my ass to find her? <laughs> You're not wrong. Then here, you get first dibs. You deserve it, Ichiban. But... Nothing like the first crunch of a fresh crustacean. Here goes! No, Nancy! Wait, let's, uh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. What's with you? Freshness is fleeting, you know. I, uh, could you hold off on devouring Nancy? Huh? What are you saying? Now's the best time to chow down. The thing is, I kind of got attached to Nancy. Well, that searching gave us a real bond. What? You bonded with a sea bug? Hey, you're the one who named her and took her for a walk. Well, now we have a problem. I've been waiting for days on end to sink my teeth into Nancy. And I can't think of much else that would give me that kind of satisfaction. Damn. However, if someone were to bring me something just as tasty, I might reconsider. Perhaps I could be persuaded with, oh, I don't know, a premium sushi set? Oh, come on. Now you're just milking it. Sorry, son. I don't have many options here. A premium sushi set would really set me right. Unless you're intent on kissing Nancy goodbye. Okay, fine. I'll bring you your goddamn sushi. Oh, 
Please do, and don't be long. <laughs> I'm saving you, Nancy. God damn. Alright. Premium sushi. Oh, wait, do I have one with me? Let me see. I'm look. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, the closest store is literally across the street. I might be lucky if they sell one. Don't get hit by a car. Don't get hit by a car, Ichi. Ma'am, I need a... Oh, sir. Premium. Premium. Uh, damn it, you let me down. You have luxury bento. I heard boss coffee is actually quite good. I gotta try it one day. Alright, no. They don't have that at that store. I can go out on the street and over here. Sorry, I gotta save Nancy. Oh, actually, one second. Uh, check the soy, pharmacy. Alright, it might be. We'll try that, and if it's not there, we'll. No, not another pharmacy. Listen, we will find it. I'm gonna save Nancy. God damn it. Destruction. Oh, oh, Nancy's in danger. Alright, should be up ahead. I think pharmacies sell sushi, but as weird as that sounds. I can have gas stations sell sushi, then why not? Any closer that way, or I'll trigger it. Mm. That's another pharmacy. Worst comes to worst, I can just trigger the other one and finish this one after. But I'm not seeing anything that says. Well, actually, right here. I haven't been there. No, give me a second. Let me see if my smartphone lets me... Nope. Can't call taxi. One more street. Alright, turn down. Ah, oh, damn it. Arcade games. <laughs> Virtual fire? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, and Fantasy Zone. Now that one I played. Alright. One day I'll do a bunch of these type things and, uh, you know, slot machines and all this and that, but not today. Alright, so there's a bunch of stores I've yet to even be been to. I can go down and check over there. Today we're exploring the city to save Nancy. We're gonna save her. You understand, it's Nancy. Oh, I telework. Alright. Actually, can I do it yet? Hello, work. Can I do it? No. Okay, so not yet. Hi, hi guys. I got work. Let's go. Alright, let's go down and check that store out. 
I keep forgetting to look for taxis. Right, no, that place isn't open. Okay, we're going up. Oh, then I'm gonna have to battle them. Wait, maybe. Nice. Alright, so that's a restaurant. So, not there. We're gonna keep going straight. Got Alright, and this is a... Oh, right. This... Okay, you can't go here yet. Up. Oh. Right. Right. Nope. Oh. Okay. Mm. How odd. Where do I get a premium sushi set? Oh, I think I just remembered what I gotta do. Is there a taxi anywhere? Is the town just out of taxis at the moment? I can't call them, and I don't think I've seen any. Yeah, it just hit me what I need to do, too. Ah, you all mad. Shot it. I think I just remember what I gotta do. Taxis? No. <laughs> Shut at me. Yeah, okay. We're gonna see. Nope. Ah, you know what? I'll just fight these two. Alright, let's do it. Right. Let's go! Flobber bag. God, that is so fast. Okay. The thing is she can be strong, but uh, it goes so fast. I'm up! Mong Zhang. Not interested, old man. Speaking of old man. It's hot, so be careful. Oh, a soup kitchen for the homeless. Real thankful for stuff like this. Hey, you! This place is for people in need. Huh? Look, buddy, I'm not here for a bite to eat. Don't play dumb with me. I saw you eye in the soup. A love worth fighting for. <sighs> well, hold up. I told you, you got the wrong idea, all right? Terracotta san, just leave it be. I know you're hungry, but there's no need to get uppity at folks. Now, why don't we go get back in line? You got too damn soft. The soup kitchen's all we got. Take calm down. Ugh. This is all your fault, fuckwit. Oh, look out! <laughs> oh. Hey, you okay? Duh. Stupid son of a bitch. I got you this time. Wow. I'm going to kick your ass. You have no idea who you just messed with. Namba. Pigeon him. <laughs> Watch this. Damn. Alright. Four. Ooh, nice. I feel the stats going up. Nice. Look at me go. Ooh. Nice. Beautician's finesse. Which I think is charming people. Yo. Hey, you okay? Mm. 
Where am I? Appreciate the help back there, but don't overdo it, all right? Oh, what about Terracotta-san? He's unconscious. Uh, he's still pretty pissed after you got knocked out. I sorta have to step in and calm him down. Uh, figures he'd act like that. Terracotta-san isn't a bad person. It's just recently more and more non-homeless folk have been trying to swoop into the soup kitchen. I think he was irritated because there wasn't enough going around, going out to the people who actually needed it. I'd like to apologize on his behalf. I'm sorry to cause you trouble. I had no idea that it was that bad. Uh, at least I know now. Hey, by the way, weren't you in line to get some soup? Oh, oh right. I should hurry and get some. <laughs> I almost missed out. Just thinking this could have been the last bowl makes it taste so much better. Looks like it's over. Uh, uh, much I could do about it. Still wish I could have at least got something for terracotta son. Hello? Excuse me. Hmm? Hmm? Here, yeah, you can eat this if you like. Ooh. Oh. I saw the fight, but I was too scared to step in and help. It might not make up for it, but I actually would like you to have these onigiri. <laughs> oh, yeah? Onigiri? That's good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's wrong? Oh, yeah, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. My name is Shirakawa. <laughs> I'll be doing another soup kitchen out here soon, so I'll see you two then. Hi. Okay. Uh, well, I'm actually not homeless. See you later. At least you scored food. Uh, guess I don't didn't ask you your name. Yo. Hey, you listening? Oh, oh sorry. My name's Right. It's Kurt. Creo. Creo. Huh. I'm Kalsaga. You've been zoned out ever since she's come over. What's up? <laughs> you fall for her, buddy? <laughs> Just teasing. What? How did you know? For real? Oh, you really did. I was joking, man, but you're really head over heels for her? I've never been treated so kindly by a woman before. I guess she just kind of stole my heart. Hello. So, tell me, Kazuka-san, are you any good with the ladies? Uh, what's that now? I don't have any experience with these things. What's worse, I don't have a job or a house either. Still, I don't want to treat these feelings like they never existed. Not for the first love. So I'm begging you, can you step in and play matchmaker for us? I've gotta at least try. <sighs> Me? I ain't exactly a Cupid myself, man. But, alright, I got you. Don't know how much I'll help I'll be, but why not? <laughs> really? Thank you so much. But first, you might want to take care of your friend here. <laughs> oh. oh, right. Okay then, next time we meet, I'll ask you again. Okay. Okay, Terracotta-san. Up we go. <sighs> Playing the matchmaker's game is going to be pretty tough. Still, I guess it couldn't help to stick around and help the guy out. I think this one continues for a while. Like, you have to just keep coming back every so often and uh, the quest will advance. Like, it doesn't immediately finish. You have to actually... Let time pass. Right. Alright. Uh, let me see. Oh, raises her defense. Never mind. That could be useful. Stupid bums. Alright, let me see if what I think is... Oh, wait. It just came back up. 
Never mind, I might have been wrong. Hey, Kasuga-san. Where's my premium sushi set? Sorry, I don't have one. Can't hold them. All right, I get it. Never mind. I thought you had to fight him for her, but never mind. All right, so clearly there's a premium sushi set somewhere. Where? Where, 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 where? Oh. Here. Jojijo. Alright, yeah, I'm just an idiot. Kazuga-san, you came! Hey. Yeah, where's your boy, Terracotta? Uh, Kado. Also, it's only been like two seconds, man. Apparently, he's learned a lesson. He's been lying low as of late. That's good to hear. Hmm? Hey, looks like they're running low on the soup kitchen. They're running low running in the soup kitchen today. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, it looks like they're running the soup kitchen today. Now's your chance to talk to her. Uh, sure, mm. but this whole thing I've been thinking about, what? This whole time I've been thinking about what I should say, but I can't think of anything. I think it'd be easier to talk to her if I knew what she liked. Why not go up and ask her? Uh, but... What if she thinks I have an ulterior motive and never speaks to me again? Dude, don't overthink it. Do, uh... Do you think you can ask Shirakawa-san what she likes for me? I haven't even been able to touch my soup. I'm so stressed out about it. <sighs> Man, are you serious right now? Fine, but just... But just to get this started. Thank you. Okay, be right back. Let's see if I can find something these two can talk about. What the? Oh, they're shoving people. That's funny. Hi. Kirio asked me to find out what Shirakawa likes. Guess I'll act like I'm getting some food and see what I can learn. Hey. Yo, mind if I get some food? Oh, you're the guy from last time. Do you, do you like the onigiri? Oh, yeah, it was great. Thanks. Really? I'm glad. I love cooking, but I'm pretty clumsy, so I'm never too sure about the taste. It's a relief to know you liked it. Okay, so she likes cooking. Maybe I should ask what else she likes. Sup? Do you like anything other than cooking? Um, you want to know what I like? Yeah, tell me, tell you the truth. I was thinking about getting a gift for a girl your age, and I wasn't too sure what to get her. I thought maybe I have some kind of idea. Oh, I see, a gift. Well, I'm not too sure it'll help, but I love flowers. Flowers, huh? Hi. Yes. I'm even attending. I'm even attending a gardening program at my college because of that. That's cool. I guess a lot of girls love flowers. Thanks for the hint. Oh, no problem. I hope she likes the gift. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't you want any food? All right, she likes flowers. I should tell Kirio. Hey, man. Yo, I found out what she likes. Thank you. So what did she say? Yeah, she loves flowers. Loves him so much, she's, she's going to college for gardening. Wait, really? Yeah, wait, what's the big surprise? Yeah. Well, actually, at one point in time, I worked at a flower shop. No way, that's perfect then. Shouldn't be hard to talk to her if you leave them with that. <laughs> right, I must say, I'm starting to feel pretty confident. I think I'll go over and say hello. You do it, man. I believe in you. Ah, I would explain her apron flowers. Ah, okay, okay. I get it. I'm a stupid. <laughs> oh, you have to talk to her, man. There we go.
<laughs> okay, okay. Look like he's in business. Now I'm gonna walk away for two seconds. I bet that'll that is all that'll happen. I got some running to do, because I'm an idiot, a big dumb dumb. And you know what? You know, I'm done running. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flowers could bloom in some pretty unexpected places. Back when I was working, I didn't pay much attention to the city, but you'd be surprised what you'd see if you look. <laughs> really? I'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, nice. Look like Kirio's doing just fine. Nah. Hey, look at that. What is it? Talk about beauty and the bees. Those two don't match up at all. <laughs> yeah, guys like a wild dog, am I right? <laughs> yeah, a real mutt. Uh. Beauty and the bees? Huh? Whoa, don't sneak up on me like that. Oh. I'm sorry. Apparently Shirkawa-san and I aren't good fit. Hmm. Hmm. The thought hadn't even crossed my mind. Well, I can't keep looking like some raggedy old hound. I don't want to embarrass Shirkawa-san. Yeah, it's not the best. What should I change first? Mm. What should you change f Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Change Shirakawa. No, just your clothes. Eh, you can actually clean up a space too. How about your face? Uh, like plastic surgery? You're right. She'll never go for this ugly bug. Nah, not like that. Like cut your hair or put on makeup or mm. something. Oh, that's what you meant. Mm. I don't know if it'll be enough. He's got me there. Maybe there's something else he can change. Yeah, okay, it's close. So, why not your clothes? I'm pretty sure she'll notice. Do you have anything else you can wear? I'm sorry to say, but this is all I have. Alright, well, we'll just have to go buy some. How much you got on you? Mm. I've got nothing. Well, try and do something about that. For sheer Kawasan and my new friend who's been cheering me on. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm really rooting for you, man. Thank you. Hopefully you can help me with my outfit once I get some money. You got this, man. Guy sounds a lot more confident now. This right, he's got in the bag. You know what? I think we're done for a while with that quest. I don't think it's going to pop up again for a while, so... I'm going to just run and... And, oh, actually, it didn't spawn back. I'm shocked. I am shooketh. I am flabbergasted. My god. Oh, okay. I think this... Oh, wait. No, there it is. Never mind. Alright. Enjoy me on a run to the north. Oh, god. That Ferris wheel in the distance looks so pretty. Oh, <laughs> Calls neighborhood Gomi Jewel. Oh, peaceful nap. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, that is what I think it is. Oh, I get all warm and fuzzy whenever I see a swing. Oh, I really liked them as a little girl. My dad used to take my sister and me to the park all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, if I ever start a family, I'd want us all to play together on weekends, too. I'm having a hard time seeing Adachi as a dad. Oh, come on. I'd be a good dad, right? In fact, I'd be a regular old sugar daddy. That doesn't mean oh. what you mean. Don't ever say that again. Ever. Huh? Oh, well, you get the idea. It started so sweet and ended in salt. A sugar daddy? God damn it, man. That is not what you want to say. Okay, level 21. Okay. Alright, this one's a problem. Oh. I hate to say it, I might have came to the wrong side of town. 
Never mind. Here we go. There isn't an enemy in the game that is like a metal slime and dragon quest. I haven't gotten there yet, I think. Hurry, golf. Let's go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Moving up in the world. Nice. We're getting stats. Ooh, it's getting really late for me. I'm gonna have to call it soon. And I mean, real soon. I still got work tomorrow. Hey. Um. Got cold in that. Nice. Oh, man. I have to get my flu shot now I think about it. It's sad. I tried learning Japanese because I would love to learn it. Did Duolingo. Probably not the best way to learn it, but it's still okay, especially if someone wants to do it for free. I did it for like a year straight, and I can pick up terms every now and then. I just can't pronounce it. Like, I can, I, I can sometimes read it and be like, okay, that's what this word means and that word means, but... The fat crew's coming this way. Alright, oh, I'm gonna just, uh... I'm gonna wait for the tub tubs go by. My lardo. Thank you. Issues. Hmm? Mm hmm? Oh, it's Curio. Look like he's working hard. Get your tissues here. Oops. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Didn't see you. <laughs> oh. Get your tissues here. Right here. He's really getting pushed around. He must be real desperate. <laughs> he's putting everything he's got into a job that's probably paying peanuts. Glad it's not me. It may not be glamorous, but I have to change. And for that, I need money. So no matter what anyone else tells me, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to hand out these tissues. <laughs> All right. Issues. Issues here. <laughs> Curio's finally shown some backbone. I don't want to interrupt him on a job, though. So I'll just ask him about it in the park. And we should be back there, yep. Alright, I'm gonna go here. I wanna go to the popo. Is that how you pronounce that? Popo? Where's a pop up? Popo. I'm gonna go popo. <laughs> This is P O P P O. Pop pop. Pop 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 pop. Probably like, why am I being annoying right now? I'm tired. Very tired. But I'm doing this myself, don't worry. Hey, do you have. Thank you. Alright, we can finish two quests with one stone. Now, if only the taxis were bloody available at this moment in the story. But no, I activated a stupid story quest where the taxis are all unavailable, so I gotta run back and forth. You wanna what? I don't mind it. Sure, I have to run long tracks, but nah, it could be worse. Stop that the battles are easy to avoid. Playing this though makes me think. Oh, I thought mm, almost got too close. Right. I wanna. Let's go. Oh my. I need to do my yearly play of um, Final Fantasy IX. I always, I play that every year, once a year. I love it. Uh, I don't know if that'd be a YouTube thing. Maybe. Knight of the Cask. Okay. 
All right, Namba. Perfect. Good luck. Level up. Rank up. All right. I don't care if Bax's killing you. We need to do these two things so I can go to bed. Alright. Let's just go to the other side of the street. There's more enough street for both of us. You don't need to attack me. Holy cow, they hate me. Alright, give me a second. I'll be over. Right. Hurry. I also got increased by rank with them, but that can be a, a next time thing also. Gotta go survive. You know, do a drink link. Alright, alright. Oh, of course you stop. Alright. Let's do this. You first. Oh my god, he's happy. Kazuga-san, I was waiting for you. Look at this. Now I could buy some clothes. Great job, but this probably won't get you more than like a shoe, singular. Uh, go away. How much do you think I'll need? Mm. Well, if you go with something on the cheap, you might be able to scrape by. Oh, that low end shit ain't exactly gonna win you any points. Oh, Terracotta Sun. Wait, how did you know? As if it was a big secret. It's plain as the nose on your face. Anyway, never mind that. I came to give you this. Oh. It's for me and the other boys. Watch you go out there and earn like that. It was hard not to root for you. Kaudasan. Good luck out there. Thank you. <laughs> right on. Let's go get you some new threads. Okay. Oh. They're all great friends. Like, hmm. All right, let's see what he looks like. Hey, not bad. You think? Huh? Hey, not bad. You look like a whole new man. So relieved. I should show Shirakawa san. Hey, man. You go. You got this. Just so happens it's soup kitchen day. Perfect timing. Let's go. I wouldn't say it's exactly daytime. I should probably have done this during the day, but whatever. Hello, Jirakawa-san. <gasps> oh, Kirio-san. <laughs> wow, look at you. You look amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> With a reaction like that, I'd say we didn't do half bad. I do- I hope this changes how others see him a bit. Keep it- keep at it, Kirio. Oh, is there another part to it? There is another part to it. Ah, okay. Well, while we're doing that, let's do this. Hey, Kasu- Hand it over. Here, that's what you wanted? <laughs> just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Can't believe you went and got this just to save a dang crawfish. Anything for Nancy. Here, as promised, Nancy's all yours. Boiler, griller, do whatever you like. I'm not doing any of that to her. <laughs> all right, we're out of here. Thanks for both me and Nancy. Enjoy that sushi, huh? Oh, yes, we'll do. 
Yeah. <laughs> Nancy, you and I are gonna get on just fine. Yeah, Nancy's with us now. As a pound mate, Nancy Chan. I have to walk away from this real quick, and then, uh... Oh my, this one's lasting a while, eh? Hmm? Hmm? Sp oh, it's not gonna spawn? Unless this one's in another location, give me a second. If it's not, I could probably call it here anyways. But I'm gonna give it a few more seconds. Hey, can man. Alright, I think, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm good for now. Here, I know a way to reset the world. Not to reset the world, but to trigger something. Let's battle. Mm. Yeah, this one yeah. should take too long. Alright, yep, I think um there's nothing that's gonna show up that for yet. Okay. I have no idea what they just said. It's like just I mumbled a bunch of things. And there's that side quest, which uh, I have a feeling I know what it is, and it's ridiculous if it's what I'm thinking it is, but we'll slowly work my way over there. We will slowly do it. Right now, I think we'll do this so I can make it day again, uh, but that'll be a next time thing. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go on a high note. Let me show you, Nancy Chan. I hate to leave you hanging, and she's not that expensive. And she is the girl. Alright, let's do it. Who do I call? Oh, right. Let's do it. Time to call a friend! I summon you! I need you, Nancy Chan. Station damnation. Plague of pincers. <laughs> if you're wondering. She does bleed damage and makes the target bleed a lot. But I'm off for the night. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll be back uh, sometime. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night and goodbye.